forward. Hello, everybody. It is Monday, October 28th, and this is the IPFS Weekly Call. And since live streaming is not working for us, we're going to be doing this the recorded old school way, uh, which should be fine. This is a weekly call for folks in the IPFS community. Um, the two things on our agenda so far are um, just a little weekly update on kind of what, what's been happening across the IPFS project this past week, and then um, talking about 2020 project planning. If you have other things to add, please either stick them in the chat as suggestions or hands or something along those lines, or add them to our handy dandy notes document, which I just um, linked in the chat. Cool. I'm going to share my screen since that seems easier so that people can see what I'm seeing. I hope this is the right window. Yeah, seems right. Cool. So quick weekly update, just kind of looking across all of the, the various working groups and what they have been up to for the past week. If anyone wants to jump in and add clarification or add additional color to my very lightning fast update, please feel free. Um, on the infra slash gateway side of things, the gateway is um, deploying a number of new bootstrap nodes, which um, have some, some handy characteristics. Our, very, our previous bootstrap nodes were very old. So this has been kind of like a long time work in progress that we've accelerated recently and um, hopefully we'll see those fully land this week. Um, we, there's also a couple of performance improvements coming down the line, um, specifically some work that Dirk has done to um, fix uh, some performance issues that uh, were, were, we were noticing between uh, our gateways and IPFS cluster, which hopefully will make all users of cluster faster, which will be phenomenal. Um, so hopefully that one rolls out shortly. Um, on test ground, which is our, our chunk of work to make sure that as we are um, releasing new complicated changes to the IPFS protocol to people who use IPFS in the wild for like very large production use cases, that we're not breaking them and that we're actually improving performance really reliably. Um, this is our network simulation tool that we, has been in the works for, for the past quarter. Um, uh, to, oh, hello? Hi, Jessica. Okay, um, it's our network simulation tool and um, the first two end-to-end -end test plans are landing shortly. Um, and I'm sure Jim and David can tell you even more about that, um, but really, really awesome work happening there and um, really exciting the, the, that group is pushing hard to make sure that that is up and running so that we can make our next Go IPFS release um, this quarter, which is our P0 aim for this quarter. Um, next, kind of from the project operations side, we launched um, our 2020 planning um, effort, which has a call for suggestions for themes. More on that in just a second. And um, on the IPFS doc side, um, Jessica can tell you a lot more about the beta that they are hard at work on putting together so that that's taking our her documentation content. It has new information architecture with some, some new placeholders for docs that we want to exist. Um, and it'll work on transferring over old docs to new formats so we can move things around and get feedback and test it with folks. Um, and there's, there's a lot of useful ways for, for you to participate in that. So if you want to participate in UX things, definitely talk to Jessica. She would love to get your, your ideas and knowledge. Um, and from the package manager side of things, um, I heard, I heard in a previous meeting um, that there's some snazzy work on ad performance, which last time we measured it was way slower than we wanted it to be, that now we're measuring it again and things are looking way better. So some more investigation there to, to see how, how things have improved over the last chunk of time. Um, but uh, also very, this, this, okay, there we go. Um, very good improvements there for people to pay attention to. Hopefully we'll see more shortly. Does anyone have anything to, to clarify or add on to my lightning fast tour of what's new this week? Jessica, go for it. 
I will add a link in the um, agenda for this meeting to the uh, DocSpeeder repo, as well as a link to a Google form where if you want to get more involved in some like more rigorous beta testing, um, that's how to get us your info. Uh, it's very much a work in progress. Um, we're migrating content this week, so um, I, I won't actually, I won't share the playground site because it's like not useful to anybody at this point, but uh, we shall have some more information real, real soon now. Thanks. Awesome. David, are there any updates from research land that you wanted to contribute? I know that there are a number of open problems that you'd love feedback on. Maybe this is a good yeah. update. So um, we have a, a total of seven open problems that are being checked out. Uh, two of them were actually merged last week. Um, one on routing on only peer to peer source research and the other on privacy preserving networks on IPFS source research. Um, as I explained last week, and not going super long on it, it's a place to both get an idea like what is the open problem, to learn what has been done so far in the IPFS ecosystem, what we know about in the broad ecosystem, and also what we want to achieve once the problem is solved. And so, like if you are interested in any of the topics of the open problems, uh, it's a very good place for you to like share your wisdom, share your experience, uh, share your ideas, or share your questions. Like if the open problem is not clear enough for you, then let us know because uh, we want to make sure that like we use that as a, an entry point to onboard more people to think with us and, and like to solve those open problems together. Um, I can paste here a link uh, so that you know where to find those. Thank you, Molly, for the prompt. Awesome, awesome. Dirk, your background is gorgeous. You are definitely winning in terms of the, the fall display. No, we're all, all envious. Cool. Any other updates? IPFS week in the life? I don't see any hands. I can't see everyone all at once. So I'm just like flipping back and forth. It's chill. Cool. Um, then I'll oh, go for it. Whoever just unmuted. <laughs> oh, do you hear a ding or something? Um, it's me, Terry. Uh, next week, hopefully, we will be launching um, our next tutorial for Proto School, which will be about the regular files API. This is the best name we have for it at the moment. The non MFS stuff like adding and getting a cat and all that jazz. Um, so I will probably midweek this week be asking for some proofing help from people who do feel quite familiar with IPFS just to triple check that we have not introduced any lies when we as beginners built the tutorial. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, just ping me and I'll, I'll let you know when it's the right time to do it. We're still making a few tweaks, but hopefully that will be coming next week. Lovely request. Very good. Good point. All right. Any other any other things? Flip back. Flip forward. Okay, I don't see any hands. Um, then I'll give you guys a, a quick update and insight into our 2020 planning work and timeline so that everyone um, kind of knows how to make suggestions and is encouraged to do so. Um, please, please send your ideas and thoughts. Um, so this, this is our kind of call for proposals. Um, similarly, if you've participated in other open source communities like Rust, um, there's a kind of call for proposals on what should the project be focusing on, which asks for um, suggestions and kind of strategic insights from people and um, is an opportunity to focus on like, hey, like, you know, there's all this important stuff, but this thing has fallen off the radar. We should make sure to bring this thing back to, back into focus. Um, and so that is uh, the call that's happening here. Um, it talks a little bit about project state, but then the meat of this is making theme proposals. Um, lots of examples. This is super flexible. Um, there's a, a template for creating issues, which are then can spark a discussion and other people can add to and um, clarify and make suggestions on top of. But all of this knowledge can, will go into a, um, a planning spike where we focus, spike is probably not a great word, but where we focus really closely on doing 2020 planning. We're, time boxing and condensing it down into just a week um, this year so that we're going to harness all of this knowledge and all of the work that we're doing kind of asynchronously to make suggestions into a very short like focused week of actually coming up with a project level plan for the year and then from that we'll we'll split out more into into working groups to figure out how that applies in q1 um, and so there's a couple of known 2020 milestones for people to think about when we um, 
have in our brains, what should IPOS be doing next year in particular versus, you know, two years from now or something like that. Um, and then there's a high level timeline here. Um, call for proposals is open until November 8th. And that's when we're gonna um, harness those proposals and ideas. Um, the proposal template is here in the roadmap repo and just asks for a title, um, description, um, talking about needs and gaps that this is meeting, why we should focus on it this year, high level what it looks like to focus on it this year, what would it actually mean that we do, like what would we do and why, um, and how would we evaluate our success for that, like what would the world look like differently after focusing on that for the year. Um, and so again, this can be many different things. Um, we can end up accepting multiple of these. Um, we can end up accepting half of one. Uh, we can merge some together. Um, this is flexible, uh, but lots of suggestions, very welcome. And there is, I think, one, one example to, to kind of illustrate our point um, with a focus for um, building solid foundations for growth, um, which already has some thoughts and comments on it, more comments welcome, but also people are very encouraged to iterate and, and make new suggestions and um, come up with new, new ideations. But you kind of get the, the general format from this. Any thoughts or questions about, oh, Jay, go for it. So is Filecoin testnet still on target for December 11th launch? And uh, yeah, that's the question. It's a great question. Um, we're not <laughs> the Filecoin team, so uh, I believe so, but I do not have any special insight. And it looked like March is the target for the mainnet launch on Filecoin, is that correct? Yeah, so they're, they released a blog post a couple weeks ago with what the Filecoin team is, is focused on and, and their high level timeline. Um, so some exciting things coming along the road. Uh, there's also some, some other cool projects like ETH2 I believe is planning to launch in Q1 of 2019, which is exciting and they're utilizing libp2p um, I believe there are a number of other projects in the IPFS ecosystem that are either going from beta to full launch or going from kind of work in progress to beta in the early Q1 timeframe. So there's going to be um, definite growth there. And then the browsers work that, that we've been pushing on, um, some of that also will hopefully be coming to fruition in the late Q4, early Q1 timeframe, um, which will, will also be an exciting milestone to keep an eye on. Johnny, go ahead. So it's just the uh, the timeline for things for um, standard submissions. So I have some open issues still with uh, like registering MIME types with uh, application slash IPLD and CBOR and plus JSON and or also there's the the IPLD IANA scheme name registration. That's still sort of an outstanding issue. So are you, is the thought to actually to migrate those open issues into more of the um, 2020 planning um, document? That's a good question. Um, I think for things that are, are a thing on our backlog, that's a specific task that we need to do, um, that we should probably be tracking that in, in somewhere that is like a to-do list versus a, what is a higher order focus for the entire team. So like, um, you know, Getting, getting an IPLD MIME type standardized, like uh, it seems like a thing that might be part of a theme, but, but not a theme in and of itself. Um, we also, while, while a theme for the IPFS project for next year would definitely encompass and incorporate needs for IPLD and for libp2p and other projects that we depend upon in terms of, um, you know, hey, you know, we will help contribute to making DHT performance a thing, or we will, um, you know, be consumers of XYZ sort of IPLD feature and performance improvement in order to enable this theme. But we're, this is also not directly libp2p or IPLD yearly planning. Um, they may choose to have their own forums or their own structure for how they accept suggestions for for their projects. And so um, while we can make 
make requests and recommendations in this forum. This is mm -hmm. not, not planning for the IPLD project itself. Does that kind of answer your question? Yeah, I suppose, I mean, that's kind of like the challenge, which is that each project has its own uh, time horizon. And I think, uh, and I know like uh, 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 Eric has been working on the new flavor or, or for IPLD, but it's really, um, you know, things like, you know, even IPFS uh, scheme re registration would be immensely helpful for getting um, uh, momentum for getting things into the wild. So especially for interoperability with other specifications. So like a, a multi-adder is just not robust enough to just throw into a, a string for interoperability. People need to know that actually this is uh, a multi-adder in the either the protocol or leveraging libp2p for instance this is sort of another so these these are hard because each of those are different projects but how do we actually get cohesion actually to get momentum to actually to to get interoperability with um and play nicely gotcha i mean i think if there's a um a large body of work around getting to that point um getting to standardization movements um that that would be like a, a, ch a year's chunk or a slice of a year's chunk of work around specification um, and you know building up towards that probably doing in a, some refactors or some um, some changes ahead of trying to standardize things kind of a 1.0 sort of work product um, then that totally would deserve uh, a theme submission in and of itself. You sure I saw you had a hand? Yeah I, I, I would like to I think this I think Molly, you're right. This probably is a little orthogonal to the IPFS specific 2020 planning, but I really would like to talk more if people are interested around coalescing interest and activity around standards body interactions. This is one of the things that I have on my 2020 list for IPFS and web browsers work, and you know what, what uh, Mr. Crunch said around that kind of setting us up for broader adoption in some of these larger vehicles like major browsers uh, is, is really true and is gonna, will, will play a part. So uh, maybe there's a, a sideband here around. Uh, I would love to be able to have a periodic meeting just to talk about standards related work in that set of technologies that IPFS sits on and in and around. But I, th I think you're right, it's, it's separate from the 2020 themes. But definitely um, message me if you're interested in talking about this and maybe we can set up a regular thing to talk about just the, how this pool of technologies interacts with standards bodies, what are goals and the very, there's various activities I keep discovering more and more of them that are related to that, to standardization. Absolutely. Anyone else have, have hands or questions or thoughts about 2020 planning. Two, two aims from this are one, um, everyone has an opportunity to have their voice heard on what we should be focusing on. And so this is, this is your opportunity, um, make it count. Definitely um, use this opportunity to talk about what you think we should be focusing on. Um, and also a aim of communicating really clearly what we end up choosing. So the rhetoric of like why we focus on what, um, this is kind of the beginning of, of making sure that that lands really carefully with everyone who's contributing to IPFS so that folks understand why we are um, choosing the focus areas that we do next year and that there's kind of clear, clear understanding across the community on what we're prioritizing. Cool. Do not see any additional hands. We have three minutes left. Are there any other things that people want to discuss or talk about or share about what's happening in IPFS these days? Nope, everyone's good? Phenomenal, cool. Well, have a wonderful end of October. Go eat a lot of candy. Um, dress up in funny costumes, share your funny costumes um, with, with your friends in IPFS. There was, there was discussion about being, um, about being a Merkle bag for, for Halloween. If you have an IPFS or um, other protocol related uh, 
Halloween costume, please take pictures and put on Twitter or IRC or something so that everyone can can enjoy because I'm really looking forward to seeing other people's creativity so that I can live vicariously for you. All right, I'm going to stop sharing and everyone have a wonderful rest of your day. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.